Okay, we are by the storage area. I, th I suggest that if we go through here, and there's probably some way to lead around to this um, other door. We were trying to repair the lift, right? We're trying to go downstairs closer to the dark sanctum. Oh. Don't forget your bag, Daniel. I won't, Herbert. There is no shame in using a parasol in the desert. As it happens, it's imperative to your survival. But it looks ridiculous. The shame will hurt much less than dying, I assure you. I wonder why I had that flashback just now. Herbert was my friend in Algeria, the archaeologist friend who uh, disappeared, apparently. Um, okay. Right, so we're trying to get down this lift. We have a key to this room. Maybe I just go in here first. But I wanted to make sure... What? No, I have a key. Oh, I ha yes, yes, yes. I have to use the key, don't I? Machine room key. Alright, yeah, I was thinking I would go back in the storage area just to make sure I've explored everything, but um, while I'm here, might as well get prepared for making progress, making real progress. Welcome to the episode. This is Amnesia. Let's play Amnesia The Dark Descent Episode 7. And I am Wen Rendo. Um, last episode we looked around a little bit in this back area. Went to the study. Found some dog parts. Rifled through the guest room a bit and found some notes about the orb. Met someone who left me a human torso as a present. 5th of July, 1839. Today, I went to the university looking for answers. I was able to sneak into Herbert's office and pick up an address book along with some relevant textbooks. Professor Taylor at the Faculty of History was very helpful, and I managed to approach the subject of the orbs. The most interesting aspect was the prevalent trace they had left in our culture. The mythic orbs may in fact have inspired the Globus Cruciger, which so many royal regalia holds to this day. In ancient times, the orbs were held by priests as a symbol of the sun and its power. As I was leaving, I overheard a disturbing conversation. Sir William Smith, the geologist, was killed last night. Less than a fortnight had passed since I'd asked for his expertise. I know it's silly, but I can't help feeling responsible somehow. Oh gosh. William Smith, the geologist whom we asked about the orb that I brought back from Algeria, has been killed. Good. Uh, anyway, back in the other, other um, in the guest room where I stayed before, we found out more about this orb. I finally have it back together. I don't have it in my possession. What is this? Machine equipment memo. Note that there are only two spare rods left in the storage for the elevator machinery. Make sure to only discard the ones which are badly damaged and keep the others in the inner study rooms in case all three would crack again. Okay. So we are looking for three rods that we can use to repair the lift. This is a big cog, yeah? What's in here? Tinder boxes. I like this. Tinder boxes. Do I need to use that? Oh, no, I have to go down, don't I? At least it's well lighted in here. Although, the guest room was well lit, and, um, that's where I met the guy who left me the torso. What is this? Another note. 14th of July, 1839. I've read every book I can find on the subject. While rich in legend and hearsay, my knowledge is lack for the insight I crave. I've sent letters to many in Herbert's address book and received answers of varying importance. Today, 
I got one which differed greatly from the others. From a baron in Prussia. He said nothing about the quaint stories of priests in underground temples. He didn't even mention them. He simply wrote, I know. I can protect you. Come to Brennenburg Castle. Signed, Alexander. What am I to make of this? Protect me from what? Is someone after me? I looked up Brennenburg and traced it to the Prussian woods near the Baltic Sea. While being the least informative letter I've received, it causes me greatest distress and interest. As I write, my thoughts are drawn to my nightmares in which a most disturbing sound calls to me. A sound defying description. A voice from the void. The last few weeks have been awful with so many sleepless nights dreading a repeat of those horrid dreams. Tomorrow, I shall visit my physician, Dr. Tate, in hope that he can provide me with sedatives to help me sleep. Okay, so that is how I got to this castle, huh? I wrote to people in Herbert's address book. There's another cog. I'm going to have to use this for something. I wrote to people in Herbert's address book and got a note from Alexander that was... Oh, I'm out of lantern oil. That was encouraging, that said I should come there. Okay, here's a lever. What, did I, did I not pull it all the way? I need to add... Yes, light, good. Oh, ho, ho. Lantern oil. I, I do have lantern oil. What's going on here? There. Okay. It, it didn't pop up last time. Oh, maybe I just filled it up from that barrel. Maybe that's what happened. Okay. Uh, rods, rods, rods. I see. So I do need those. One, two, three. I need three. There was one upstairs. Yeah. <clears throat> Where did I put it? Yes. One here. One upstairs. And then another one that I will have to find. Boom. I thought I was looking for rods. Maybe I misunderstood. I kind of want to just run because I know that... Ah, number two. I know that something terrible is lurking. And I don't really want to prolong it. It's bad for my sanity. I, d I wonder which hand I'm holding. <laughs> All of this stuff in. Okay. Um, because it looks like these... These cogs would take two hands, right? They're pretty big and heavy looking. There we go. Last one. And I'm suggesting that as soon as I get this in place, something is going to jump out. And it's going to scare me and I'm going to start shaking because that's just, that's just what I do these days. Just what happens. On. Now the lever. Did it get darker in here? Okay. There is nothing in the burner for it to ignite. So I need to find something to burn. That's the long and short of it. Um, okay. Find a way to start the engine that powers the elevator. Well, I understand that. What do I have? Diaries, notes, machine equipment. Two spare rods left in storage for the elevator machinery. Discard the ones that... Uh, that's not my issue right now. Right now I need something to burn. that do? Alright, so that the machinery... Oh, okay. Okay, so it needs more work.
What else do we need? We need rods? In the storage area. Oh, of course, of course, of course. In the storage. Okay. That's why I had to go and visit the storage area. Let's get out of here. Go back to the storage area. I know... I knew they wouldn't let me leave any place unexplored. Especially really creepy places. I've just got to see that desk full of skulls or that splashy thing in the basement. How did I miss this? 17th of July, 1839. How has this escaped me? They're all dead. Limbs scattered, heads split down the middle, their skin flayed as if boiled. I feel like I'm falling into myself. What's happening? Sir William Smith, Professor Taylor, now Dr. Tate. Is it following me? How can it not be? It's the damn thing I brought from Africa. Something is after me. I have no choice but to trust the Baron. He better know what he claims. If he is wrong, I suspect he'll regret it as well. Right. Well, that's confirmation of what I... What we thought, isn't it? Uh, what is this? Pressure. The pressure valves. Okay. Anything? All right. So that I don't know the order. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Do I just turn them all on? I have no idea. I'm just going to turn them all on and see if that helps. But then I still have to go to the storage area, so... Um, we will see. We will see. I don't know that this will really accomplish so much either way. On to... On through these really twisted pipes, huh? Right, I'm not going to light anything else because all these lanterns are just going to go out anyway. It's, I know well enough. Back hall. He panted heavily, trying his best to keep himself from screaming. The medicine cabinet had been overturned and lay collapsed on the floor. He reached through the broken glass door and grabbed all the sedatives he could find. Maybe that's my experience, or maybe that's Dr. Tate's experience. Grabbing the sedatives. I did not shut that door. And you know, I really do miss the spa music we used to have in here. Um, these... look changed. The lighting down that hallway looks changed. Okay. To the storage area. Oh no. Why does everything have to be deeper down and farther away from the windows? The strange letter frightened him, but it was also the only one which offered some comfort. Yes. This is going to be regrettable. The darkness in the storage feels strange and unnatural. Um, right. It does, doesn't it? I don't want to use all of my all of my tinder boxes. Here's one. Unless I can pick some up, of course. Tinder boxes in moderation. That's my motto. All tinder boxes in moderation. Right. What is in here? We've got. 
Right, well, I've got, I've got a lantern lit. I can't... Look at this hint. I wonder if I can turn the hints off, because I basically get it. I'm supposed to keep it as light as possible while they try to make it as dark as possible. Um, yes, yes, yes. Anything? Anything? A drill part. Whoa! Whoa! No! That was a thing. That was a thing. That's a thing. That's a thing. No. Oh, no. That's a thing. That's definitely a thing. Oh, no. No, 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 no. <gasps> that must be the thing that left the torso. Um. Okay. Right. No, 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 no. That's tender boxes, tender boxes. I'm in the dark. And my sanity's going to abandon me. But I'm worried about the thing. Okay. The, um... Oh, God. I, I'm not quite sure what to do. Does it just... It just disappears? Does it disappear? It doesn't seem to move that quickly. Now I know what I'm up against. I would love to have a nice pistol. This is bad. This is bad. There's another cave in. There's another cave in. It looks like maybe someone um, got smashed or was dragged before it caved in. Of course, and not really caved. In. Well, here, here there are some... It does look like the ceiling did collapse, or rather a floor collapsed when something fell on top of it here. Anything in here? Nothing will bud there. I will have to find another way. So here's the thing about the background noise I heard. There was, there was a woman weeping or crying in pain, I suppose. Back when we were in the study, where Alexander used to saw apart dogs, there were dogs barking. So maybe this is where he takes the people. Maybe that was the gatherer. Yes, you hear her? You hear her? There was another um, collapse in the study that I couldn't get around. Maybe that's where the dogs were being held. What do we have here? Primary. I have seven tender boxes. I'm just going to go crazy with them. One. Two. What do you want to bet this is secondary? Yes, secondary. Okay. Okay. The valve has rusted shut. Okay. Well, I have a drill part. Part of a broken hand drill. And uh, maybe I can find the rest of the drill. That's it. That's what I will do. I will find the rest of this drill. And I will drill into the kegs. And see what's in there. Maybe. Maybe. I have to see what else I discover. Hey. Tinderbox. And that might be the rest of the drill. Picked up a drill part. Okay. 
I need to find all the parts. So there's one more part or two more parts. There can't be that many. It looks pretty well put together. If there is a woman here, then I want to save her. No. I do need to be careful with this lantern oil. Closing in. Drill part. Okay, that is three drill parts. I'm going to guess that three drill parts is all I need. Ah, yes. I can't avoid tinder boxes. I have to find all the tinder boxes so that I stay sane. So, woman. All right, I'm coming to. Well, I'm. I don't know that I am. I am going to see what's inside these barrels. What is this? A vessel is needed. I have a, I have a chemistry pot. Okay. Partially filled pot. I, what, what is this? What is secondary? Did I miss a note somewhere? Well, let's get primary to... Oh, is, is this the room with the note? Yes. Regarding explosive mixture. Ah, oh, Alexander... I have prepared the explosives you needed for clearing the flood drain. I can't stress enough how important it is that the mixture is handled with care. Please try to tell your feather-brained servants this before you go ahead with your plans. The liquids are not by themselves explosive and should be kept separated to avoid further mishaps. I have arranged two large vats in the next room for the ingredients. All you need to do is mix the liquids and you are ready to go. Agrippa. So this is Cornelius Agrippa, the one who visited and found an orb before and then uh, was transported to Italy. Okay, so explosive mixture. Let's get Primarius. <laughs> My Latin's rusty. Primarius, yes. And now we should have a fully filled explosive jar. Yeah, is something going to object? No. No, I'm... I'm okay. Let's run. Can I get down there? Do I need to? Let's get out of here and go blow up the avalanche. No, I have to turn left. Or something, I had to do, I had to find it, yes, down here and then here. Machine parts, the rest of the parts for the elevator are right down this way. Don't stand too close to the blast when the explosive goes off. Okay. Go off. No. Do I need to do anything else? Don't set it off before you're safely out of the blast area. Maybe I can, um, maybe I can rattle it or something. Oh, yep, that did it. Whoa! Good. 
good. I need more of that. There are lots of avalanches I'd like to get past. If this woman is here, then I am going to save her. You know what's odd? And I'm out of lantern oil. What's odd is I haven't seen that thing again. Where did he go? Why are you doing this? Get away from me! Okay. Is she... Is she here? Food storage. I was promised machine parts. Machine parts. I'm looking for elevator rods. I'm not looking for food. I don't want to eat anything in a place that keeps torsos handy. Tinderbox. Flies everywhere. Um. Oh. oh god. Oh no. Something, something. There was something. Yes, there's something. There's definitely something. I am going back around. I hope that it doesn't want to come back out where it's light. I sing when I'm nervous. Um, okay. How did it get through the avalanche and back, back into here? Um... Okay. It's a. Uh, I hope nothing will come behind me. I want to check both ways. Uh, it doesn't want to come into the light. Maybe that's the rule. It doesn't want to come into the light. Food storage. It was eating. It was in the refrigerator. Eating all the leftovers and not sharing with anyone. Um, but now it's out. What kind of a shadow is that? And I don't have any lantern oil. So, um, question. Is it safe to go inside... Probably not. It's probably... That's a person. It's a person sh Looks like feet, yeah? Is there someone on the rafters up there? No? I'm seeing things. I'm seeing things. I don't know. That looks like legs. It looks like a person. Oh, God. Let's just go in. Tinderbox. Um, is there a light? Where are you, baby? I don't know where you are. Tell me where you are. Carpet. We are down in storage. She sounds like she's over this way. Is there anything here? Is there a door I'm missing? There's a candle. That's much better. I have to light these corners up. Machine parts. Yes, that's this is where I'm going. Oh, 
Oh, no. No, she's already... She's already dead. She's already dead. What am I... What is this? It's a... Okay. Machine parts. I don't want to run out of tinder boxes. <laughs> ah! Ah! Oh. Oh. Who lit the fire? Who lit the fire? Who lit? What is that? Is there something? Oh. Oh no no no. Um. That woman is definitely dead. Woman's definitely dead. Um. <laughs>